Say good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> so it is about 7.30 and I've already been up and went to the gym. Today, Jim is going back to work. He's a school teacher. And so I have to get up super early if I want to get to the gym, especially on Tuesdays because he doesn't get home then until about 10 p.m. So he is gone all day. I am home with little Miss Annabelle all day, which I do not mind, but makes it hard to get to the gym if I don't go super early. So that is that. I have not showered yet, obviously. I have not eaten yet. And I can't decide. I only have time to do one right now before she needs fed. So I think I'm going to go get something to eat first. Then I will feed her. Then I will shower and then we'll be ready to really kind of start the day. All right, so for breakfast, we have quite a lot of funness going on here. First of all, these are my new cookies. These are sprinkle cookies. The recipe should be on my blog already, but they are absolutely delicious and super fun as you can see. And I will be eating all 12. I don't know the macros off the top of my head for the whole plate, but it's under 300 calories. Maybe I'll flash them across the screen. So definitely check those out. Going to have a banana with my favorite, new favorite peanut butter addiction, this nuts and more toffee crunch, and a apple pie quest bar. Probably won't eat the quest bar right now, but I'll have it sometime this morning. So real quick, funny banana story. I don't know if you can see all of those bananas behind me right there, but my husband does band camp for high school and every day on the last day of band camp, the seniors do a prank. So one year they set up a tent in our backyard, one year they drew or outlined dead bodies in the driveway, they do all kinds of goofy stuff. But this year, they know that Jim absolutely hates bananas. Like he will gag at the smell or the sight of a banana and he does not eat them, they make him nauseous. So they took almost 200 bananas and just spread them all over our yard, all over our driveway and Jim had to go pick them all up. So we threw away most of them, but as you can see over here, I did keep quite a few and I've already baked some banana bread and frozen a bunch of them. So I'm gonna try to eat as many as I can. Obviously bananas aren't that expensive, but they're free, there's nothing wrong with them. So it might be a two or three banana kind of day, but I'm gonna go eat this before the little one wakes up again and maybe try to jump in the shower too. So I did manage to get a shower, did not manage to dry my hair yet, but it's a pretty crappy day out, so I don't really plan on leaving the house at all, so that's not a big deal. But I am going to try to eat again before Miss Annabelle decides that she wants to eat again. So I guess you want to call this lunch. And I have some pretty fun stuff going on. So this is just a cucumber and tomato salad. This is all from our garden, so pretty excited about that. This is really the first big pick that we've had from the garden. So the cucumber to tomato ratio is a little off. There's a lot more cucumber than tomato, but that's okay. I am, well, first of all, I'm gonna turn this off because that is loud and annoying, but getting Annabelle's lunch ready. Um, so I'm just gonna top it off with this Simple Girl sweet mustard dressing. Normally I just do balsamic vinegar on this kind of salad but this stuff is really good. It's kind of like a Walden Farms product. So it is zero calories, zero fat, zero everything, obviously a little bit of sodium, but much better than Walden Farms. And I love honey mustard. So I'm going to eat that. Also sticking with the banana theme, trying to get rid of those. I'm going to have a peanut butter and banana sandwich. My all time favorite. I just got the last bit of banana left there. And the peanut butter I'm using this time, or I guess cashew butter, is this white chocolate. I actually got sent this from Josie. I'm sure you guys all follow her. She's a sweetheart and sent me a box of baby bulking goodies, and this was included, and it's delicious. It's a little bit runny. You can see it like running on the banana there. Not super thick, but the flavor is awesome. Just using this Target bread, nothing too exciting. And then I'm going to be drinking my MTS greens, which I've been having once a day. And I'm also trying to drink more water. So I bought this gallon jug. I'm not going to worry about drinking the whole thing today. If I get half of it, I'd be thrilled. 
but I just mixed two of these grape, they're kind of like Crystal Light, but it's the Walmart brand. Mix those up in there because I absolutely hate plain water. I don't know how people drink it. I need flavor in my water. So like I said, I'm aiming for half of that. I would be thrilled if I got that down, but we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna focus on my greens drink. Obsessed with this stuff lately. So good, it's really growing on me. The first time I tried it, I was kind of like, eh, not a big fan, but now I actually really look forward to having it. So I'm gonna try to eat as much of that as possible before Annabelle decides that she wants to eat. And then I will show you when I have another snack. So I'm gonna make a little gains bowl, I guess. And what I have in here, first of all, is some of the MTS pumpkin pie protein powder. My new favorite, absolutely loving it. And then I just added enough water to make it like a pudding consistency. You can also add milk, which is a little bit better, but water I think tastes fine, especially if you have a good protein powder. Sticking with more <laughs> bananas, I'm just going to add one banana. Chop that in there. I think banana and pumpkin go really good together. I don't know, call me crazy. Mix that up a little bit. And then I am going to add some of these cookies that I got from a subscriber from Germany. These things are absolutely delicious. What they look like they're like little wafer cookies with chocolate in the middle. So I'm gonna do four of those. And I'll kind of like dip these in the protein sludge as I eat them and it will be delicious. So I'm going to go enjoy this. Yay! You did it! Say, life is so tough, guys. <laughs> so we just finished doing some tummy time and that absolutely wears her out. So she is just sucking away on her little frog which is her favorite binky, but she'll probably sleep for a little while and that leaves me some time to get another snack. So this is my new obsession. If you like sweet and salty, that kind of combination, then you will absolutely love the snack. I've been eating it every day, very simple, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So all you need are some pretzels. I use these little snaps because they're the easiest. You can also get little round ones, but I like the square ones. And then Quest Bar of your choice, or you can use two like I do, and I just cut it in half because you really only need one whole Quest Bar. So I'm doing half cookie dough and half double chocolate chunk, which are my two favorite. And then I have here on a baking sheet, just one serving of the pretzels. You can do two servings, three servings, you know, however many you wanna make. I have my oven preheated to 350. And then you just cut the bars into little tiny pieces like so and I have made this with all different flavors of bars I also really like the white chocolate raspberry but it all goes good with the pretzels to get that sweet salty kind of combo so you cut the whole bar up and then you take the little pieces and just put them on top of the pretzels like so and then once you do all that you just put these in the oven for like three minutes and then i'll take them out check on them and then show you how to finish them off so this is the crucial step after three minutes you have to take them out and press them down and it's a little bit hot but they're really not that hot that you're gonna burn yourself because if you don't do this then the Quest Bar will just fall off the pretzel. It won't stay on there. You could also take another pretzel and put it on top and make little sandwiches. I've done that, but I kind of like this ratio of pretzel to Quest Bar. I don't know, but either way it works. And like I said, these are absolutely delicious. So once you press them all down, you could also use like a spoon or something, but I think your finger works just fine. Whoops, missed one. Then you put them back in the oven for like another minute or two, depending on how done you like them. I like them a little bit still on the softer side. So I do like another minute, minute and a half, and then they'll be done.
So here's what they look like when they're all done. You let them cool, and then as you can see, the Quest Bar kind of goes through the pretzel and it stays on there. So I am absolutely obsessed with these lately. Like I said, if you like something sweet, salty, crunchy, chocolatey, they're delicious and works with any flavor Quest Bar. I am also going to have a bowl of carrots with some sugar-free syrup on them. And I'm going to have this muscle brownie, which was also in the package that Josie sent me. Once again, huge thank you to her. If you don't follow her already, you absolutely should. She is a sweetheart. And the macros, now this is for two servings, but I will be eating the whole brownie. So 170 calories, six fat, 19 carb, and 10 grams of protein. So just go ahead and double that. And I'm going to just kind of snack on these things while I work on my blog. I also have some coffee. Let me know if I am the only one that drinks coffee out of a travel mug at home, but it keeps it hot a lot longer. I hate whenever I drink out of a regular mug and I feel like the coffee gets cold in like a minute and I like hot coffee. So that coffee is, I'll actually show you, it is absolutely amazing. This was in my high five favorites video, but this is from the Coffee Fool and this is melted marshmallow. So good, so sweet, almost gone, which I'm very sad about, but I'm going to have a cup or two of that. And I'm actually going to try this brownie right now because I have never tried them before. So this is all natural muscle brownie from Lenny and Larry's. I've had their cookies before, which I love. And this is triple chocolate. So like I said, this is considered two servings, but same with the cookies. I never just eat half of it. I don't know who does that. Can't get it out. Getting some struggles here. All right, there we go. So it's not real big, but very calorie dense. Good for my baby bulk, which by the way, I am still doing. Quick little update. I have gained like two, three pounds. So I haven't increased my calories anymore yet. I'm gonna kind of see how this goes. I don't wanna gain the weight too fast. So still have my calories up there very high, um, at least high for me. I don't know, it's all kind of relative, I guess. But just kind of counting macros, calories until I get to that number and then kind of you know having some flexibility with it. If I go over, obviously that's not a big deal. But anywho, that's how the bulk is going. But these kind of foods are very helpful with that when I need to eat a lot of calories don't always feel hungry. Like right now, I don't really feel hungry, but I just kind of try to keep snacking all day. So anyways, back to the brownie. Has lots of chocolate drizzle, lots of chocolate chips in there. It's kind of soft-ish. It smells like chocolate heaven. Mmm. <laughs> That's actually really good. Kind of reminds me of those little brownies that you buy, the little cosmic brownies that have little rainbow candies on them. Reminds me of those, only not quite as sweet. But I really like it. I think it'd be really good warmed up. I'm just gonna eat this one room temperature. But for future references, or maybe broken up in some ice cream would be delicious. So this is my absolute favorite time of the day, and that is snuggle time with this thing. I don't even know if I can do this cuteness justice. Let's just see here. I can get up high enough. This is how she snuggles. So cute. I absolutely love it. It's her favorite position. She just, no matter if she's fussy or whatever, she will just fall asleep and snuggle all day like this. And I love it. So while we are snuggling, I am playing with my new toy. I treated myself to an iPad mini and Jim treated himself to the Apple Watch. But I didn't really want the watch. I don't really wear a watch that often. I mean, if someone gave it to me for free, sure, I'd wear it. But I decided I wanted the iPad mini instead, and I am loving it. So I'm just getting all of my fun apps downloaded and figuring out what I can do and having fun with that. Also having more snacks. So I am having some peanut butter crackers. I like these. They're just super convenient, easy. This package is 240 calories, 10 fat, 33 carbs and 5 grams of protein. I really like the peanut butter ones. And I'm also having a bag of my new favorite candy, which is Chewy Spree. Not the regular Spree, they have to be the chewy ones. And this says that there's three servings in the bag, but just like with the cookie, I'm or with the brownie, I'm eating the whole bag. I don't 
ever eat just one serving of Spree, I guess. But one serving is only 50 calories, less than one gram of fat, 12 carbs, and zero protein. So multiply all that by three, and that is what I'm having. And I eat them very meticulously. So first I eat the yellow ones, then the green, then the orange, then the purple, and then I save the red for last because they are the best. So we have to start with the yellow. The yellow are still good, they're just not the best ones. So you kinda gotta go in order. I do that with Skittles too. I don't know. So I'm going to eat these and play on my iPad and stare at this little thing. So I'm ready for my last snack of the night and Jim won't be home for about another hour. It's already like nine o'clock, but I'll let him do her last feeding before I put her to bed. <laughs> so I've been having this same kind of thing every night and I don't know what you want to call it. Some people call it a junk bowl, snack bowl, gains in a bowl. I don't know, but I pretty much just figure out how many more calories I need for the night and then I go through the cupboard and see what fun snacks I have and put them all in a bowl and snack on them while I watch Army Wives which is my new show that I watch when Jim's not here because he obviously doesn't like care to watch it so that's my little show. So what I have in here, nope that's a baby's head, what I have in here is, let's see if I can balance this on baby, she's not squirmy, I have some peanut butter filled pretzels, some wheat twist pretzel things, some M&Ms still left over from Christmas. These are the pretzel M&Ms, but they're still good. And then the last two little s'mores pretzels that I have. So these usually are anywhere between like four and 600 calories, just depending on what I need, what's left over. And that is gonna be that. So I am not going to flash my macros across the screen once again, but I did very good today and I hit my numbers. So I am happy with that. And that's gonna be it. So if you guys like these full day of eating videos, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.